playing Heartbreak, which is in B major. So this is challenging, right? Here's one of the songs by Hypnotic. Yeah, Sashi. And um Hypnotic of my solo. So the question is, how do I play in D major? If I were to use music theory, I got to know. Is it B major or B minor? B major. Yeah, it's B major, G minor. And, she's, and this one is actually in A flat minor. A flat minor has how many black keys? A flat, B flat, B flat, E flat. So it's got four black keys and I can't remember them. So I don't expect you to remember them, right? If I can't remember them, I don't expect you to remember them. So instead of having to memorize that, oh, A flat minor is... <laughs> Instead of doing that, there's two ways I can solve my problem. I, here on, in front of the synth, I can add in a uh, pitch. Okay, this is trick number one. It is effect. Pitch. Now, do you know how to play C, ma C major? Major. Sure. It's uh, all the white keys. Do you know how to play A minor? A minor is all the white keys starting from A. Well, actually, it's not all the white keys. You need to change it. So if I were in A minor, and I wanted to play along with this A flat, how many steps do I need to go? One step down. Okay, so I'll take the pitch, and I'll go one step down. Negative one. Minus one. Yep. And now I play... Suddenly, yeah. I look like I can play A flat minor. <laughs> I'm actually playing A minor, I shifted down. Okay, that's trick number one. Okay. Yeah. That's for, in a pinch, it can work, right? Yeah. Mm. Actually, that's yeah. another way mm. you can, instead of using that, you can, instead, okay, let me delete the pitch. Yeah. And fun fact, the transposition function in a lot of digital pianos and keyboards, right? was actually invented by the boss of Korg. Um, in like the 60s because he used to play at a jazz bar. Then the story goes that one night his sing the singer there, she had a sore throat so she couldn't sing at high enough pitch. So they had to transpose but the, the pianist didn't have the dexterity to play in the new key. So that gave him the idea. How about we digitally or maybe electronically shift it down. So yeah, that's where transposition comes from. Yeah, because sometimes uh, if you have a bunch of musicians like you got this guy, mm. you got Wakim, right? Those kind like whatever key you throw them, right? Whether it's the key is in like G flat sharp diminished minus three um, so exponential or square, or square root differential yeah. divide yeah, carry the one. Yeah, <laughs> they can do it. But for the rest, if I say okay, I'm I've now I'm not gonna load in the scale effect from Ableton's MIDI effect scale effect, and I'm gonna choose one of the presets called the minor. There's a whole lot of minors, yeah. right? But you're in university, no more minors, right? <laughs> anyway, sorry, that was a... <laughs> now, here is a minor. <laughs> minor, is... minor. I have a minor. And we're going to change from C, we're going to go to G sharp, which is also A flat. Because this is the G, this is the A, right? If you look from the G, this is the sharp. If you look from the A, this is the flat. Okay, so now we got this. Minor key here. 
Interestingly, no matter what note I play, no matter how wrong it is, it's actually being forced into a minor scale. Yeah. And in the minor scale, which I've already chosen, the minor scale is the minor scale of G sharp or E flat. That's one kind of minor. There are other kinds of minors which I can replace this with. Maybe I'll play a minor blue scale instead. I'll drag it over. The bass. Ah, I forgot to change the bass. I change the bass again. Now you can play, and you can do other things as well. If you know, there are other things called modes and scales. So modes, if you want to know which modes I posted in the Discord. Yeah. By the way, there's a Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do this to advertise our Discord. Huh? Remind By the way, there's a Discord. Under the session, the session, right? If you are in a minor key, you can play Dorian, Phrygian, or Aeolian. Ooh, Dorian, Aeolian. Phrygian, or Aeolian, okay? Ah, so let me choose Dorian, Dorian, Dorian mode. I drag in a Dorian mode and I play G sharp. So interesting that this is actually now It's actually a twist Some of the notes are slightly different I mean I don't expect you If this is the first time you're hearing it To recognize the similarities or differences But there is So there's a different The other one was Dorian, Aeolian, and Phrygian, right? Yeah. Aeolian, Phrygian, Phrygian, Phrygian mode. So, what is so great about this Phrygian mode? Very dark. <laughs> so, it's, uh, let's go very to... Goth. Yeah, it's supposed to be it's dark and gothic. Yeah. So, it's like it's Now you know you have access to these scales. Just you know it's B. Uh, sorry, the original song is in um, G sharp or A flat minor. You can use the scales to give you the either G sharp or A flat minor scale or one of these modes. Dorian, Phrygian, Euler. Okay. Now, um, one last thing. Uh, sorry. Should we talk about how the different modes are formed? Uh, I, that one you can do after. Yeah. This one, I'm just going through the basics right now. Yeah. So, so this, yeah, yeah. this is essentially theory without having to know it because you have the the kind of the training wheels of the that scale yeah. object. Mm. But now, uh, yeah, after this we can get into the nitty gritty of why the scales the scales sound the, the way they do. So now, what if you are actually composing? You realize, hey, this is an idea, right? Could I use it when composing? Answer is yes. Hmm. But how do I use it? When you are in this clip view, right? I've, I've got an empty clip here with four bars of notes there. Empty clip here. I switch on the scale. And 
I now change to G sharp A flat. G sharp A flat. Okay. <laughs> I think you need to dismiss the desktop no, pop-up. No, no. Oh yeah, that's right. G sharp A flat. And let's go into minor or shall we do the Phrygian? I like the Phrygian. Huh? It's called yeah. a golf DJ. Golf DJ. Okay. Right now. The color scheme is to tell you which notes are in the scale and which notes are not. So you can decide to insert your notes in the right scale. There is an even cheatier way to do this. If cheatier is worth you can actually click on this button here, which says scale, oh, and now <laughs> only the scale <laughs> notes appear. Oh. So no matter what you click, you will be in A flat free again. Okay, let me on the pencil too and just now randomly draw in notes just randomly draw in notes I have a touch screen so I can randomly draw in notes mm. and we put in some <laughs> pattern here put in some pattern here yeah. and then, uh, what does it sound like okay let's hear So, I mean, that, sure. Uh, sure. It's, it's jazzy, we'll say that. So, it's, it's got something, la. it's got something. You don't like it, just remove it. Okay, let's go to minor. Maybe it'll be easier. Hungarian minor. Oh, hmm. Never, never met a Hungarian minor. I did meet a Hungarian major, or actually, it was a lieutenant colonel. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that joke. Okay, yeah. let's try higher yeah. notes here. Right, let's see. Just the scale. What? A sharp, B, D, D sharp. D sharp, E, G, G, G sharp. sharp. Okay, it may not sound great, but is it key? <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's a start, right? In a few seconds, now you've got something in this key. It's just a matter of moving the notes around. Oh, uh, you know what? I didn't like this one. Maybe I'll move it. I'll move it further up. Something else. I think that's. I think it's yeah. worth pointing out uh, that like the fancy different like modes and scales will contain accidentals like the different you know flats and sharps. Mm that don't match the original scale or mode of the original song mm. and that will create dissonance which mm. is something you may want usually if you're not thinking about it and you do that by accident it's probably not something you want <laughs> yes. so, um, yeah. Yeah. this is what we are doing to is get a backing track already yeah. so Tiachi has already composed this in a certain mode in, already which is just yeah. the, the natural the natural minor yeah so if we do back to the natural minor right if we do the natural minor it will sound it's not even harmonic so um actually like in most like, if you all take ABRSM and all that, the most you'll be exposed to is natural, harmonic and melodic. So uh I mean today we're going a little bit outside of that because it's all available in that for you to try. Yeah, the because ABRSM is very much just Western, uh kind of very uh Western centric. So you Western get the hegemony of <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, a whole paper. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's Okay, so this is how you use scales and things. Okay, now over to advanced music theory. Okay, 